Have you been struggling to find the right camera for creating content? In this video, you're going to learn about the best beginner-friendly cameras that will not only help you get started, but will grow with you as you advance. Hi, I'm Taya. I'm a travel content creator, and I post weekly videos inspiring other creators on how to elevate their brand, land paid collabs, and travel more. Starting with the basics, your iPhone might be the most versatile tool that you'll have. With the right settings, you can capture high-quality content that could be used for vlogging or for social media short form content. I personally use my iPhone for quick on-the-go shots and all of my YouTube videos have been filmed with my iPhone. I talked a little more about it in my affordable content creator tools video so check that out once you're done with this one. Bonus tip, don't forget to adjust your settings to 180p and 30 fps for the best results. Next we have the Insta360. This is one way to make your content look unique and stand out. This camera lets you capture 360 footage which is perfect for travel content, action shots or even just adding a little twist to your video. It's my go-to for my travels that revolve around adventure. I've taken it on hikes, on the catamaran in the middle of the ocean, and on the boat in the Amazon rainforest. What I love about it is it's easy to use and it's very compact as you can see and it gives viewers that dynamic experience that's a little difficult to achieve with traditional cameras. By the way, if you want more gear recommendations, check the link below in the description once you finish the video. Every Everything will be linked below. Next we have the Canon, the Canon Rebel T3i. This DSLR is not only beginner friendly, but it definitely has the potential to grow with you as you advance in your content creation. This is my first traditional camera that I've had since creating content. It's a great starter camera and a camera that I'm sure I'll have for years. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if you'd want an in-depth review of this camera. Now let's talk about the DJI Gimbal. While it's not the camera itself, it can make your existing iPhone camera an incredible tool. This stabilizer is essential for smooth and cinematic shots even when you're on the move. I use it with my iPhone and it takes my footage to the next level making it look professional without needing the expensive gear. It's great for recording restaurant or hotel footage as you're able to pan without having to hold your breath or worry about your shaky hands. My hands are always so shaky, so this is literally perfect for me to get those clean shots. If you made it this far, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which camera you're most excited to try. When I travel, I have a little content creator bag that contains my Insta360 and my gimbal, and of course I always have my iPhone with me. Now that I have my Canon camera, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because I'm, I'm team personal item. I hate checking bags, but I will take that camera when I want to do more. So photography shots or if I go to places with nature, same thing with the Insta360. Definitely when you're in nature environments, gimbal is always a go-to as well. However, with the Insta360, I would prioritize adventure in comparison to cities. If you're doing some extreme sports, if you're going skiing on the water, anywhere where getting that 360 view is amazing. In the city or more rural areas, you're not going to really notice it much, but it's all based on preference. When it comes to vlogging and setting up personal pictures, definitely the Canon, your iPhone camera, and you're definitely going to want to use that gimbal for vlogging so that your shots can remain smooth and steady. Now that you know the best beginner friendly cameras to use, check out my other videos for more tips on content creation and gear recommendations. Let me know which camera you're most excited to try out and what tips you'd like to see next. See you next week.